ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashapi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 MIT University of Meghalaya our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25 explore our best courses experience global collaborations apply today Thank you for allowing me to move a zero hour notice. Under Rule 49A of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business regarding the news item published in the Nongsain Hima, dated the 22nd of February 2024, under the caption "Shaqran Tomet and Shaqran Yar Jubor, the real name Nakabos Hasan." So, in to translate into English, very. Briefly, it says that the person concerned uh, was subject to derogatory remarks by certain individuals, and also <coughs> literally thrown off the bus. Sharpenir Jubor thrown off the bus in a sand. So. <coughs> This relates to an incident that happened, whereby where one sister, a nun, Sister Rosemary, serving at Saint John's Parish, Siju, West Garo Hills, Meghalaya, South Garo Hills, South Garo Hills, Meghalaya, had to travel from Dudnai to Golpara on 17th of February 2024. The sister boarded the bus at 11 a.m. from Dudnai and paid the bus fare up to Golpara. Soon after the bus, which had travelled a distance, the bus conductor and some of the passengers began to make derogatory remarks on her, her religious habit. The habit is the dress that she wears and her faith. After some time, they stopped the bus at an isolated place, and she was forced to alight from the bus. Forced to alight. The incident caused serious mental agony and harassment to Sister Rosemary, both as a woman and a religious person. With the help of some other people, the sister then took another bus and proceeded to Golpara. So there are numerous religious priests and nuns in Assam and Meghalaya who wear their religious dress as in any other places in the country. Harassment of people because they wear a particular dress or religious habit is very disturbing and unheard and uncalled for. These incidents take place because of a false narr narrative and propaganda spread against a particular religion. In my opinion, I may put on record, sir, that I feel that this government should take adequate steps to curb such propaganda, thereby creating an atmosphere of social and religious harmony among the citizens. Many of our citizens from Meghalaya go to Assam for the purpose of seeking medical care, education, and other activities. Some of them wear their religious habit or carry religious symbols. So in the light of this incident and <coughs> other incidents reported in the media recently, may I request the Honorable the Government of the day to take up the matter very seriously with the Assam Government. So that such incidents, such as one that the one mentioned above, is not repeated in the future. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir. 
I'll not make a statement. Oh, no, but this, as this is, this is I'll just submit a petition to the Honorable Chief Minister through you, sir, regarding the same incident, sir. To show that meeting. we are not concerned about what has happened in Assam and it is not repeated in future, sir. So through you, sir, I would like to submit this to the Honorable Chief Minister, sir. <coughs> uh, Lead. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, though the uh, zero hour was brought just this morning, uh, and as rightly mentioned, sir, the uh, written statement will be placed uh, and given to the honourable members. But, uh, sir, if, with your permission, I will just make a very, very brief uh, statement on this particular incident. Right. And uh, so, sir, basically, uh, this incident, of course, was informed to me on the day this happened. Uh, by uh, one of the bishops and uh, immediately after that uh, I have taken up the matter with the Assam chief minister so this matter has been brought to his notice and uh, he has officially informed me that uh, he will take necessary action we are awaiting for more details because uh, the information that we received was not sufficient to be able to pursue the matter in, in any uh, official uh, capacity and uh, the concerned person was uh, in a state of shock so therefore we did not uh, get the details from her at any point and she is also obviously not comfortable uh, to give all the details immediately so so we are waiting for that particular information uh, because as of now the only information we have uh, is the date and uh, the time and the location from where she traveled to the destination where she traveled. So we do not have the bus number, we do not have the details of the names or anything that could lead us to the concerned uh, uh, individuals. Uh, but for the information and knowledge of the house, so we are very much aware of this and we are taking it up. I have already taken it up as mentioned and uh, whatever needs to be done, sir, we will pursue this matter. And of course, sir, it will be continuous effort from the government side to ensure that such incidents should not happen. And in any location, anywhere in the uh, region, in the state and in the country, uh, these incidents should not happen. So, so we will take steps. As I said, I've already mentioned it and taken up the matter with the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam. But I'll give a more detailed and written reply uh, after getting the detailed report uh, from the concerned person and the officials. Thank you, sir. Citizen first is our motto. We believe that our citizens need to be connected with government for faster and efficient service delivery. I am happy to announce that we are coming up with a dedicated CN Helpline call center. 